is inside, but much I fear without his daughter. Alas, I've heard that Ida has forsworn the world, and with a band of women, shut herself within a lonely fort, and there devotes herself to stern philosophies. Then I should say the loss of such a wife is one to which a reasonable man would easily be reconciled. <laughs> no, or I'm not a reasonable man. She is my wife, has been for twenty years. I think I see her now. Where? Let me know. In my mind's eye. I mean, a blushing bride. How exquisite she looked as she was born, recumbent in her foster mother's arms. How the bride wept and wouldn't be comforted. And I remember being much annoyed that she would weep at marrying me. But then I thought, these brides are all alike. You cry at marrying me. I'll give you something to cry about. How about if I broke it off? Well, these were my thoughts. I kept them to myself, for at that age I hadn't learned to speak. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 